Hi, this is Biana from Splitco Stampers. In this video, I want to show you an easy technique to create an envelope for any size card. The only limitation you have is how big of paper you have at home. To begin with, you will need to measure the short side of the card that you want this envelope to be for. Ti and time it times two, so four and a half times two is nine, and then add two inches, which will be nine. If you do not like math, you just flip your card over once and then add two inches. So we're at 11 inches. Cut my paper down. You can use pattern paper to make it match the card, or you can also use uh, uh, copy paper. Then uh, for the long side, it's even easier. You measure the long side, which is five and a half inches, and then add two inches to it. One for each side, which is seven and a half. Now, now that we have the right side, the right size of the paper, you can just uh, you can center the long way, uh, the long side of the card, on top of the paper and score an eighth of an inch away from the card. Or since we know we have an, one inch on each side extra, you can score on the seven eighth of an inch groove line. For the long side, you can um, either find the center again by placing it on here, or we know the paper is 11, the card is five and a half, so we have six and a half extra. Half of that is three and a quarter. And again, we are scoring one eighth of an inch of, from the card away. So we have room to slide it in and out, and that would be three and, a three and an eighth. So I'm going to score at three and an eighth on each side, but my score pile doesn't have that, so I'm going to slide my paper over to the first one and eighth inch groove and then score at one and a quarter. Now we need the paper cutter again. We have tabs here and we're going to cut the outer ones off leaving only the middle. Just line it up with one seventh of an inch or just in the groove line again. Line the groove line up with your cutting line, the paper cutter, and cut till you hit the score line, the horizontal score line. Flip over and do the same on the other side. We're almost done already. Now I just take my scissor and cut the short pieces off. There. And all we have to leave left is round the corners, and that's totally optional if you want a straight envelope. That's fine too. I'm using my corner chomper. And to get the corners on the flaps, just fold your sides in and round those corners as well. Hold your flaps in and add adhesive to the edges of one of the sides. If you add adhesive to the flap, you don't know how high your side will go. So this way is foolproof and you won't have adhesive sticking out. Now you fold that over. And 
And your envelope is done. So I'll let you try it out. It makes uh, great custom envelopes and you can see it goes really quick. See you next time.